You know, sometimes something starts off the right way and veers off course, such as the case of Martin Luther King, who really had a dream for us to get along, not based on the color of our skin, but on the content of our character. And then comes Jesse Jackson and the others that say, no, it's not the content of our character, it's the color of our skin. How far we have devolved since the days of Martin Luther King. And on the 50th anniversary of the famous I Have a Dream march, it was true to form with the current uh, black liberal leaders abandoning the dream of, of Martin Luther King and appropriating their own liberal dream, uh, such as the case when Senator Tim Scott, the only black U.S. senator serving in the, in the Senate, he wasn't even invited. Why? Because he's a conservative. It has nothing to do with uh, the content of his character. Conservatives try to base things on, on uh, character and not on, uh, you know, um, the color of skin or uh, a quota system or whatever. Just basically, you know, look at us all the same, whatever our content of our character is, and that's how it should be. But, of course, the modern-day leaders don't see it that way, and they completely ostracized a fine man, Senator Tim Scott, Republican from South Carolina. I guess he didn't fit the mold. He's conservative. He's Republican. The only thing he had going for him was he, he's black, but that wasn't enough for the liberal black leaders. Because liberalism is far more important to them than the original character issues of Martin Luther's dream.